Hi, I'm Mike. Today I'm going to show you how to change a reverse osmosis membrane. This one happens to be a 40 inch, but the 21 inch is exactly the same procedure to change it. You will need two 14 mil spanners, a flat bladed screwdriver and a pair of pinchers. You start with the two 14 mil spanners. What you need to do is release this collar. Make sure you don't use the nuts and bolts because you need to use them again for refitting. With your flat blade screwdriver, there's a notch actually in the side of the membrane here. So all you do is, as if you're unscrewing something, you turn it and that's released the first bit of pressure. And then it's just a question of prising the end cap out all together. There you go. With your pinchers now, you need to get straight into the end of the RO membrane and you can see it's twisting there. So all you do is you twist, twist, twist and pull it out. That's out with the old membrane. The new membrane, if you look at one end only, it's got this small black skirt. The other end is plain. The plain end is the first bit to go in. So you put it in that end and you give it a really good shove. You then put the end cap back on. The clamp itself will pull it in the last bit. When that's fully tightened, you'll have felt the cap getting pulled in, so everything's now watertight. Make sure you do this from the single port entry side, which is the water going into the membrane. When you start it up for the first time, make sure you put it on flush mode, which is unscrewing this, so the mushroom inside goes right to the top and keep going until that's fully open. Leave it for about 10-15 minutes. There's a lot of preservatives that actually are in these membranes and they need to be flushed out before you can start using it for pure water. Job done.